welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. That was a pain in the ass. Okay, I took the day off yesterday because, uh, woke up late because I was really tired. Naturally, this whole freaking recording shit the past month has been a nightmare completely. <laughs> Not just because it's survival horror, but because of how much freaking work it is. So I was like rusty at how awkward the controls are, so I had trouble again for that mansion to get here again, so... God damn, that was annoying. I had to turn the volume down because I was like, if I hear that guy's cheesy noise one more damn time, I'm gonna freaking punch him. But I can't punch him. Like, at least with Project Zero, I could, like, you know, press play. Whoa! And, like, I'd be able to wander around. But in this game, you have to use the analog stick, and it's really awful when you hold that. Awful. Just an Oh, fuck off! I'm not in the mood, big guy! I'm trying to figure out where this is going. Right there. Oh no. I'd love to not use the analog word to get the game. Get me out of this fucking Gary. I know what happens to my team, but I might have shit up guys. And I don't want to be genius. Jesus Christ, man. Silent Hill musical, I wouldn't be surprised. Shotgun gels. This is an area we overlooked because I was like, fuck that, let's check around here first. But we're supposed to check around here first. Um, where are we? I can't see shit. Got a red shoe. Some musical or some bullshit. Same old, same old. Okay, so uh, when I looked at the guy briefly, it said that there should be something on a bench somewhere. Whoa, 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 that camera angle was terrible. What's this? It's about a Huey the Horse, one of the park's mascots. There's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. 
Well, they did, they focused more on the rabbit than the horse. I don't see the horse anywhere around in the mascot. I think there's another mascot on the wall. It's about Kefi the Kitty, one of the box mascots, but there's a lot of information that I really don't need to know. There's supposed to be a bench somewhere that has something on it that we haven't already picked up, you know. Mindlessly bashing the X button in case there's something there. Nothing interesting on the floor. I can't see shit, man. This flashlight sucks. It's a flashlight if you can barely see anything even with it. Can you imagine trying to play through this game without the flashlight? That'd be a nightmare, man. You wouldn't be able to see a damn thing. But it doesn't mean a flashlight is perfect in the slightest. It's a bitch. Where the hell is it? Let me just check the walkthrough to double check where it is, because I'm not freaking Wander around aimlessly here. Let's see. Okay, it's supposed to be on a bench, but I'm not sure which one. Uh, nothing interesting. Uh, uh, where the hell's the exit going anyway? Whoa, 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 camera angles are terrible. Whose idea was it anyway to make the freaking camera angles so terrible? It's effective and all, but my god, it's annoying at the same time. Uh, it's just the thing, man, it's just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Well, I know what I'm looking for, I just can't see it anywhere. So damn dark, I can't see a damn thing. Wait, is that it? There it is, the chain. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh no, I don't know where the hell I am because of these really, really, really awful camera angles and these freaking goddamn awful controls. Douchebags the amusement park. But where are we now? I see. Back here. Let's call him here. Wouldn't that work? Yes. Yes, it will. It's the hat. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. And I know precisely what to do with that. Even without the guide, it seems pretty damn obvious. Cause this gate is locked or broken or some shit. I just change a little time though. So, uh, uh, what now? How do we start this thing up anyway? Between the door and the gums and there to get the right, right moving. Let's try to get this right moving then. Okay. Wait, how come I never checked in here? It's all this thing. Switches up, switching on.
Can you imagine if someone was standing right there when that was moving? That would have been painful. But it goes off on its own then. You would have managed to switch it off once it's done. I don't care. I just want a save point. I don't want to like get owned and have to go back to this stupid mansion. Douglas! You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call an ambulance. What? I don't think we'll come. Yeah. Don't no worry. reception or whatever. I'm used to it. It's a hotel. You... You old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that? Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is our God of Mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like you. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this. Man, Harry Mason would be so badass if we could, if we were playing as him. Seriously, with his mighty hammer. What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. You might be right. But you didn't do it though. You just kind of, uh... How you doing? What is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. It's only been a few seconds, but yeah. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. 
So, how would he break his leg anyway? No, serious question. Don't die on me, okay? Well, last we saw of him, he was aiming his gun at Claudia. What, did he trip on his ass? Did she somehow pull out a gun and shoot him in the leg? What is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Yeah, it's only been a few more seconds as well. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah, well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. I'll come back in a few more minutes to check on you. No. Don't die on me, okay? That would be ridiculous. Uh, is there anything around here in this particular area? Safe point is, you know, so I don't have to worry about that kind of shit. But isn't this the way we came in from? I get back there. Alright, better not. I don't have time for fun and games. Doesn't look like there's anything useful in there anyway. What'd be so fun about that, man? In a place like this? Hell no! Might as well have a ride where, like, freaking Pyramid Head is in there somehow. I have no idea. What the? Where the hell are we? Is this that one room? Oh, save point. What's that? I see something on the table. I see something on the table. What's that? Doll head. Creepy doll head. It should be titled, but whatever. Anything else of note? There's a silver cup and a candlestick on the table. It looks like it has some meaning, but I really don't know what that is right now. Ah, uh, don't tell me this is part of a puzzle. Well, at least the save point's there, so that's noted. Wait, you're looking in a general direction. What's this? Client Claudia Wolf requests searching for then infant Alessa Lesby kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from police kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article Alessa Lesby seven dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated, priority low. Using alias Heather, neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? Wait, what did you just get? I hate when that happens, man. They give you an item all of a sudden, and just like, what? Well, I can't forget to give it back legally. Uh, okay. Next. Is this the room I remember but can't remember how it works? Yes, it is. You. It's a Snow White doll. It's a Cinderella doll. I think you can see where this is going. 
they got their hands out, and we picked up a shoe. Uh, trouble is, there are two shoes, and uh, uh, I don't remember wh what color one is for what. I don't know. Uh, is there like, uh, what's this? You're looking at something, what is it? There are photos on the ground, what's this? Uh, are these photos of these dolls? Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Hmm? Hmm. So it's... Oh, uh... Uh... Maybe? No. Uh... You? Okay, it's for Cinderella one. I bought the red shoe at Cinderella's feet. Oh, I see. That's where you gotta place that. Oh, I see. I couldn't remember which shoe was for which. I just like, what, what color was it again? It's been a long time. Uh, we go through these doors? No. Of course not. We gotta find ourselves another slipper. I think it's a blue one, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Why do I say slipper? It's a shoe. Well, whatever. Back here, nope. Exit. Pull this away. Err, uh, not. Um, uh, hmm. Where the hell do I go now? Douglas, you want your notes? What is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah, well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? Just to be, uh, you know, because I have no idea what I'm doing. By examining this stuff, we can actually get a bit more detail, so we'll do that with Harry's one as well. Client Gladio Wolf regrets blah 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 after started to use alias, 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 whatever. Apparently, no connection with the criminal, just some um, occult freak. Slightly off from way back, originally from Silent Hill. It's really the notes. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. 
More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away, far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then, that has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child. This girl, we took our home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. Wait, so all that time back in Silent Hill 1, sh sh uh, Cheryl pretty much knew the Well, sh maybe she didn't know precisely, but could like, you know, Silent Hill calling her and stuff like that, I guess. Well, that kind of sucks. Three years after that, his wife dies, and then, like, four years after that, it's like freaking driving Silent Hill, and all shit goes down. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self, that was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Uh, for a soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that, half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made a lesser hool again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrifice. Ishal girl's womb was summoned with the usual rites. This was a lesser's wish, no matter what the outcome, even her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alaska. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alaska's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alaska reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream. But I had proof that it wasn't the girl was nowhere to be found. And in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed, it feels like only yesterday. And again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess that reservations at first Erst about that baby, could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you looked at me, you laugh, so... Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I had to ask to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Okay, maybe not follow the year at first, but, uh... Uh... He's a good man, damn it! I mean, yeah. Uh, was there anything else to examine now? How about we examine the pendant? There's a jewel inside, like a little red tablet. When I asked Dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. But when he told me to take good care of it and never take it off, I wonder why I feel sick inside when I look at it. That'll come into use at some point, much later on, but I shall see you next time, viewers. See you next time.